All right, all right. We are back with some Olympics updates. Welcome back, trending gist lovers. Okay, so we are talking about sports here. Right now, let's get into this and let's talk about Gisimburger from Germany. Okay, if you have not subscribed, turn on that notification bell and hit the red subscribe button. Okay, all right. Let's get into this right about now. Don't forget to leave your comments. Been two Olympic teams competitions in Sochi and Pyeongchang. Germany have won them both in the first race in Sochi. Natalie Geisenberger, this young lady, was the lead out. Felix Locke was the men's single, and Tobias Wendel and Tobias Alt were the doubles pair. In Pyeongchang, it was Johannes Ludwig who was in the middle of the team, and he is the middleman here again. So this is the team that won gold in Pyeongchang, and three quarters of the team that won gold in Sochi. They are all the reigning Olympic champions in their individual disciplines. They should win gold, but Geisenberger starts in the red behind Madeleine Agel. Big mistake out of curve one there for Geisenberger. He saw the set slap down on the entrance to curve two, and that is going to cost her. So she's really got her work cut out here to bring it back into the green so she can give a little bit of a cushion for her teammates to the left to go. Six best speed is great pace, and there are 1,500 metres of ice, 1,475 metres on this track for her to play with. Still 53 thousandths of a second back. Good exit here. She cannot afford any mistakes. She will not have the lead as she tags in Johannes Ludwig. So the pressure is on Germany. Could Austria really put in a fantastic gold medal performance here? Well, immediately, Ludwig, the four man in the German team, the men's single Olympic champion, brings them back into the green. Back in the green from Ludwig. Okay, so Geisenberger, three Olympic gold medals in singles. Tobias Wendel and Tobias Art, three gold medals in doubles. Ludwig, only one. Back in the red, nine thousandths only, but that could be how close this race is going to be. Best speed of all into the Chrysler. The German sleds are absolutely flying here in Beijing. You see Ludwig stretching out there, trying to squeeze every thousandth out of this track. Still in the red, 83 thousandths back. Beautiful curve 13 there from Ludwig. Not the greatest speed though, Mark. They're going to be behind. The Tobies are going to have to win it. A tenth back. It's doable. It's very doable. You can give away so much more than that at the bottom of the track. They just need to be a fraction cleaner than Stoy and Collar. But they know that the Austrians laid a massive challenge. Well, they had Stoy Collar by two tenths in the race yesterday. So this is going to be exceptionally close. But and you look at nine thousandths of a second. They are clawing it back as they go into the green. This is pressure, this is high octane racing from the Germans. Well, not just one gold medal on this. If the team win, this will make these guys six-time Olympic champions, and it will make Natalie Geisenberger Germany's most successful Winter Olympian with six gold medals and a bronze. They are in the money. Are they close enough? Don't believe the speed at the bottom. How close is it going to be at the line? They're going to hit the paddle. They do. Eight hundredths of a second. Literally the blink of a human eye. They win gold. Natalie Geisenberger is a six-time Olympic champion. The Tobies are six-time Olympic